Hi guys, welcome to SBI Moto Japan. On this channel, we discuss so many things concerning buying used vehicles in Japan. And today, I'll be discussing the risks of buying used cars online. Today, I'm going to be breaking down to you some of the ways through which you can actually identify a car and buy it online safely. But before we go on the safe side, let me tell you some of the risks that are associated with buying used cars online. So there are many, many risks and challenges associated with importing a car from Japan. People worry about so many things. For example, are there scratches on the car? Are there things that I don't know about the car? Those are good to worry about, but the biggest worry that you should have is whether the car will arrive or not. Even if it doesn't have scratches, but it never arrives, then you'll never know and you'll never have a car. So that is one of the things that you have to look out for. You have to look for dealers that are genuine so that they can give you what you ordered for and not just give you what you ordered for, but deliver it to your doorstep on time. The second that it arrives, there are no guarantees that your car is safe, but at the same time, the malfunctions are not shown in photos. So these are the two main risks that you should be aware of when importing used cars or buying them online. So guys, those are the two risks you have to consider when buying a car online. But don't worry guys, because today I'm here for you. I've had conversations with both partners in Africa and auctions right here in, in, in Japan. I live in Japan and right now I'm actually at an auction. So you guys, are safe in my hands i tell you please tr you have to trust me on this because i am a bridge between the two sides so guys i've had conversations with both japanese and african dealers and i've noticed a lot of things and the risks associated with buying cars online as well as ways to avoid them so stick around because i'll be showing you these risks and ways to avoid them there are different things to consider when buying a used car in Japan. The year, the mileage, as well as the exterior. Many people make judgments of the cars to buy based on the exterior. Maybe it's the color you like, the shape you like, or the body you like, you know. And this is extremely dangerous because the exterior is important, but it's not the most important part of the car. The mileage and the year are some of the things that you should definitely consider. And funny enough, there are some companies that do not provide this information on their website. This is very risky and you should be careful of such companies. Therefore, in this video, I'll be showing you some of the ways to tell a, whether a car is good or not. Do not use online car sales such as private auctions. Their principle is pretty simple. No claims, no returns. They might have a variety of vehicles and most of them are actually at a very, very affordable price. You might as well call them cheap because their cars are very cheap, but there are some problems that are associated with these cars. If they have any problems, you cannot return the cars to the, to the seller. So this is like very dangerous since a car might be looking beautiful and nice from the outside and the price very low. But once you buy the car, if you have any problem with the car, it will be difficult for you to get your money back or even to hold somebody accountable. So this is one thing you should also be careful about. SBI Japan sells different cars from Japan, the Toyota and many other different makes. And our company is very open. At our, on our website, we list all the details that a car has. We list the mileage, the year, the exterior and many other details that are very important when it comes to purchasing the car. So please visit our website and make a request of what car you like and we'll take it from there. Thank you for watching today's episode.